For 100, he loves spending time with his wife. He trained uh, training MMA at Team Quest. Um, he loves the ocean. He loves the sun because if you look at his Facebook, he's always out there. <laughs> he's really enjoying life. So I would like to welcome to the stage Joshua McGowan. Okay. Yeah, so that's one testament to his energy. He's got a constant IV going for right through. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what we were asked to speak about, which is was awesome, is what it takes to grow this business. If uh, let me see a, a show of hands, who was at the International Commission last year? Wonderful, wonderful. And I you know I don't know the exact number of the amount of awards they give out, but he had a bring an extra suitcase to take him home. So, this guy is doing amazing things in a short amount of time, and the reason that he has the success and the accolades is exactly what we're going to go into here. So these are the nuts and bolts. I'm a you know, full-time IT engineer, so numbers make sense to me. You know, Building step by step by step makes sense to me. Sure. And this is exactly how I go about uh, application with our business. Nice. And what Josh talked about. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm a fan of martial arts, boxing as well. Everything in this business is basics. There's no advanced training. It's just mastering the basics, like in boxing, footwork, the jab. But these right here, take a picture of them, write it down, because if you can master these steps here, you will be you know, as honorable as Mr. Chen here. So if you do this and, and really take the action, you will succeed. So the why. The why is the fuel. This is probably number one, the most important thing. Yeah. So what is the why? It's your motivation. It's your determination. It's what's going to get you up out of bed or after a long 18-hour shift. Like I said, I do IT consulting. I'm in a data center. You know, I drink a ridiculous amount of Red 3s, yep. just like Jeremy. I don't have quite the energy, but still, you know, keeps me going. Your why is, is what is going to be the fuel for your success. For me, when I started this business, I had my, my wife's education, and she received Teacher of the Year, and for three years in a row, received a pink slip. Wow. So me, as the breadwinner and provider, I said, okay, look, I love serving, I love going to Hawaii, I love my house, you know, I have a nice truck, I have a wakeboard boat, I love nice things, and I also love to work hard. But to have kind of that fear, and like I said, you know, there's, there's two types, there's pleasure and pain. My why was primarily pain driven, and that's the most powerful. Because if you're truly fearful that you're going to lose your house, that's going to make you work a thousand times harder than, let's say, if you wanted to have a Lamborghini and go through the ground of the bills. That's right. Two totally different motivators. And I try to focus on the pain. I have some that, when I went through the BDSD apprentice, that were also a pleasure. But if I'm going to tell you, you know, let's, let's cut it straight. Mm -hmm. Focus on playing the, the pain and make it very detailed and post that up on your mirror. Mm -hmm. Look at it every single day and that will get you up out of bed and it'll keep you moving forward. So like I said, it keeps you moving forward when things get difficult. So I love going to international convention. We have a team in Japan and every single time they win an award, they scream waltz. And raise your hand if you've heard them say this. Anybody here? I love those guys. Every single time, and they're so passionate, and they scream it. And I train jiu-jitsu, have been training for about six years. It's a term in the martial arts community. Um, it means never give up. What it means is, I would rather die than give up. If you have that mindset, you're going to come on a Saturday to Steph's success when you'd be doing potentially a million other things. The, the greatest thing here, it says, withstand the most arduous of training. And that is, that is a concept that a lot of people you know, in America, we don't have it that tough. But if you have this mindset and you repeat this, you're going to excel way beyond if you didn't have this mindset. It's amazing. My favorite quote, there's a book that we'll talk about, first year network marketing. 95% of those who ran this industry for 10 years or longer will reach the highest pay, lay, pay levels in the respective company. So my goal is to be in the Song Health Sciences, and actually I'm fortunate enough to live a couple blocks um, from uh, Zach Ross, and my goal is to be a star diamond director nice. after 10 years. So that's, that's on my dream board, and that's what I'm aiming for. Whew.
right, so getting started in this business, we want to think one year down the line, two years, no, it's day one when you open this business. So what I like to say is put statistics in your favor. Like I said, I'm an IT engineer, numbers make sense to me, statistics make sense to me. So I say, let's get started on a good foot. Pro packs, nine times more likely to become platinum to pay setters, 15%. Matching bonus for life. When I started, it was only Boom. six months. <laughs> six months is great. 50% for life is a million times better. So show of hands, who's platinum in this room? Yeah. Oh, God. I would love to make 15% of everything. <laughs> <laughs> the next step, this number right here is beyond huge. Complete the e-apprentice, 87 and a half more times likely to go gold director. Nice. Woo! Who here, show of hands once again, has completed the apprentice? If your hand is not up right now, go home and do this. Yep. Don't sleep, drink seven red threes, finish. 87.5% <laughs> is going to give you a solid residual income. So critical. So as I write these down, if you duplicate this just by starting, this is the very first step. Duplicate this and you will have long term success. And that's what this business is about for me is long term. It's not short term, fast cash. It's not about that. It's about long term, retiring me, retiring my wife, blessing my family, and doing amazing things for you, Song. That's right. Woo. All right, so how to grow. First 48 hours of a new, dist new distributor. So, what, what I, exactly what I do with Jeremy I said, Jeremy, four, uh, first 48 hours, complete basic training. That's just to get you, know, get you going. Within the first three to four days, get BDS the apprentice out of the way. It walks you through everything that you need to know, especially developing your why. And once again, that's the most fundamental piece of this. Um, stories sell the product. Jeremy's story about the reset, he's going to tell that to one or two people and it's going to blow up. If he tells them all the facts and this and that, it might just not sink in. But the story, the personal testimony, I think, was it Aaron Dinn who had the person with the thumbnail or something like a playoff? It's an amazing story. It's just somebody who's raised their son. They look out. My thumb's doing great now. I just blew up the business in the sex week. <laughs> so that first week, these are the four things that I give it to all my new associates. So Jim Rohn, building your network marketing business. It's an hour long. It's free on YouTube, actually, if you don't want to pay how much it, you should. Um, just listen to your car. It's just constantly developing your philosophy. It's easy as simple. First year network marketing is something that will prepare you long term for all of the things that you could run into, which could discourage you, and a new distributor kind of get them discouraged and will make them you know, not follow through. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of good values. You know, I kind of treat it as a textbook, amazing resource. 21 laws of leadership. If and when you decide to take your business to the next level, in USANA, in life, whatever, read this book. Mm -hmm. Know the laws and understand them, apply them, and you yourself will be a, a better person in general. Mm -hmm. Not just with USANA, not just with whatever you do full time, just in life it'll help you, like I said, it's talked about here, to raise your lid. Yep. It's amazing, it'll change your, it changed my life and I, I think it'll be the same for you. The last one to really take network marketing to the next level, way for network marketing in the 21st century. Both of those first year and way for or older books, classics, a ton of value. If you're gonna just do four things, do those four things, and you'll have the tools and the arsenal that you need to take it to the next level. First eight weeks, all we focus on is platinum. Sweet. How important is platinum? 15% for life? That's extremely important. So I say our goal is to introduce four associates, 1,600 sales volume, personal points, and 10 customers. Why do we say 10 customers? I learned in the Mark Mail book that if you focus on getting 10 customers, that's when you start to make your checks right off the bat. So the my building strategy is actually to focus on building uh, leaders and just focus on one solid leg. So with the 10 customers, I was able to make a check my first week. I skipped that next week, but then I was continuously making a check, you know, that week's uh, skipping the next week. So how to grow. If you're going to do, you know, once again, I, sometimes I work, I work like 70, 80 hours a week, you know, week to week to week. So I don't have a lot of time. I told Joe Castro, who's my sponsor, look, man, I got maybe five hours that I can invest in this business. That's it, a week. But I will dedicate 15 minutes consistently every single day, regardless if it's Christmas, New Year's, my birthday, whatever. Consistency, at least 15 minutes. So that I'm always moving forward.